What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. We're here outside of Barcelona's Maritime Museum, just at the bottom of La Rambla, with another video in the series of Is It Worth It? My way of helping you guys decide for yourself if it's worth it coming over to the various monuments that Barcelona has to offer. If you haven't done so already, remember that you can subscribe to my channel so you can find out when the other videos are coming out that help you better prepare for your trip or keep you connected after you leave. And if this video helps you at all, remember to give it that thumbs up. So let's get in, let's check it out, Barcelona's Maritime Museum. So much of Barcelona today is centered around its beautiful beaches, almost overshadowing its history as a maritime empire and port city. And in the Maritime Museum, all of this is on display. Visitors or residents who haven't been here yet should definitely have a look at the museum's offerings. The Maritime Museum opened up in 1936 to promote maritime culture and Catalonia's maritime cultural heritage. Since then, it's been offering varying temporary exhibits that link the sea to Barcelona's history and its importance as a port city. But it also has incredible permanent exhibits, like the massive royal gallery from the Battle of Lepant in 1571 that we'll see a little bit later on. In the coming years, the museum will be hosting some impressive exhibits from international artists like Monet and M.C. Escher. The Maritime Museum is right at the bottom of Las Ramblas in front of the Columbus statue, and for only 10 euros with the option to add a schooner visit in the port, it's a steal. I know I always get excited about the architecture, but the museum is housed in what were the old royal boathouses that were built in the 13th century. It also forms part of one of the only sections of Barcelona's medieval walls that's still visible today. But let's take a closer look on what you can find inside. Temporary exhibits on display will be here until the end of 2022, so you still have plenty of time to see them. The first you'll see is Seven Vessels, Seven Stories, and it's an interactive exhibit that touches the stories of seven different ships that have had lasting impacts all over the world. La Sorras Deu is a 14th century boat that is one of the few medieval Mediterranean boats to be preserved and on display today. It was found in Casta de Fels, just south of Barcelona, in the build-up to the 1992 Olympic Games. Finally, Beyond the Sea covers 300 years of Catalan shipping from the 17th to the 20th century. This is a period when Catalan ships were allowed direct access to the New World for the first time and covers the transatlantic trade, a huge part of Barcelona's wealth. Apart from the temporary exhibits, you'll probably be most impressed by the permanent ones. History lovers should really get a kick out of seeing what Barcelona looked like before its expansion and before the Barceloneta was added in when the sea was much closer than it is today. But the part that most impressed me, and I think you need to see, is the replica of the Royal Gallery from the Battle of Lepant of 1571. This was a battle between the Ottoman Empire and the Holy League, which was a Catholic Union brought together by Pope Pius V and led by Juan de Austria, which decided the division of the Mediterranean. So you can get an idea of how big the boat is, it stretches the length of an Olympic-sized swimming pool, and being able to board it is an awesome experience. Lastly, just as you leave, you get to see Icteneo 1, which was the first ever engine-powered submarine launched off the coast of Barcelona by Narcisse Montoriol in 1858. You can see it was dark by the time I left, but with so much to see, I ended up spending a lot of time in here myself. A visit might take around an hour or so, and you can learn so much about Barcelona and its connection to the sea, something talked about on tours, but hard to really show. If you do come over to the Maritime Museum and you're looking for other things to do nearby, check out my video about the Wax Museum, which is just across La Rambla, and subscribe for more videos to help you better discover Barcelona. If you have been over here before, let others know if you thought it was worth it with a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.